I'm in the Kay Memorial Gallery in the Fine Arts Building on the Del Mar College East Campus. In the mid-1960s, art professor Joseph A. Kane speculated that the way to create an art expedition worthy of national claim is to focus on two genres. Fifty years later, the Del Mar College National Drawing and Small Sculpture Show lives on. Some of the many exciting things you'll find at Del Mar now. I'm Amy Mintz, Associate Professor of Child Development, Early Childhood at Del Mar College. Today we'll speak with Del Mar College Professor of Art, Ken Rozier. He'll explain more about the National Drawing and Small Sculpture Show. Instructor of Technical Drafting, Bob Claypack, is also with us. He'll tell us about the upcoming steampunk event at Del Mar College. Students in the radio and television program are back with a Del Mar Now update. We've got some great information to share with you over this next half hour. Stay with us. This is Del Mar Now. Our first guest is the chairperson for the Department of Art and Drama. He holds a Bachelor's of Arts degree from University of Nebraska, a Bachelor's of Fine Arts from Wichita State University, and a Master's of Fine Arts degree from the University of North Texas. Please welcome back to Del Mar Now, Professor of Art, Ken Rozier. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Okay, so this year marks the 50th anniversary of the National Drawing and Small Sculpture Show at Del Mar College. How exciting? It's totally <laughs> exciting, Amy. You know, this is it's just really exciting. Well, Absolutely. Explain to us about this show and kind of how it got started. Well, the uh, the exhibition was started by a, a, a previous art uh, professor at Del Mar College, uh, a visionary we think, uh, Joe Kane, uh, in in approximately I believe 1966, uh, probably before that, but got the idea to. Um, to host an exhibition of professional work, uh, a national exhibition, and uh, it's become a, uh, a jewel for the community, we think, and so uh, we uh, uh, owe Joe Kane's vision uh, for this exhibition that's uh, now 50 years in running. That's amazing. Um, so where can individuals look at this year's work, and, and is there a limited time frame on when it's going to be on display? Well, it is. It's a, it's a, a physical exhibition at the art department uh, on the East Campus at Del Mar College, uh, Ayers and Baldwin. So folks can come to the Kane Gallery there and view the exhibition uh, normal hours, nine till four, mm -hmm. and uh, except on probably a little shorter on Fridays, you know, uh, probably nine till noon on Friday. And it's uh, on exhibition through uh, May the 8th. Okay. Tell us what how does someone get to be a part of this expedition? I mean, do they are they nationally acclaimed because they've won awards elsewhere, or well, m maybe, but not necessarily. Okay. Uh, the uh, The process is we have a we have a call for entries that that, that goes out, and we'll then one for next year will go out pretty soon, and uh, artists from across the country choose to enter, uh, you know, and then uh, they they submit uh, images, and we have a uh, an, an independent juror who then and selects the work um, uh, by uh, 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 digital means and then uh, we invite that judge to campus and by then, by the time the judge is at, on campus, the works have been shipped in, the pre-selected works have been shipped in. Then, uh, in this case, uh, this year's judge was Brian Detmer, uh, looked at the work, the, you know, was in, in the gallery with the work uh, and physically then could see the work and, and enjoy the work and made the selections, the purchase award selections at that time. So that's sort of in a nutshell, that's sort of the process. Um, you know, um, exciting thing from time to time, this year we have a, a student that got in the show. So a student right now at, uh, in the art program at Del Mar College submitted a work through that process and was selected 
and and, uh, and that's Alex Van Fleet, and he has a nice drawing in the show. So that's a for a young student, it's a it's a terrific thing. Um, it sounds like it, and it's amazing. So the the works that guests would be able to see at this are not just local works, but works from across the nation. Right, Re represents about uh, 40 states, artists from 40, 40 states across the country. Well, that's that's quite a, a, an accomplishment to be able to see this. Um, you mentioned some of the, the judge for this year's show. Can you tell us a little bit about? Well, uh, Brian Detmer is a is a, a, re a pretty young artist who's very successful. He's uh, so successful is that we'd, we'd call him a new York artist, and he is in New York. He's um, in, uh, has work in collections across, uh, actually around the globe, and uh, across the country. He's uh, he's found he's found a really distinctive voice in his uh, choice of material. He selects. Um, uh, books, bound volumes that are, have been sort of discarded, and he finds a new life for them in in um, basically carving or, or incising and revealing and r r uh, composing, making compositions, sculptural compositions with several, like a lot of books. Sometimes they're 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 um, pedestal pieces, and sometimes they're relief pieces. So uh, you can. Um, interested folks can go online and Google Brian Detmer and, and pull up his website. Okay. It's a, it's a, uh, we were really lucky to get him. You know, uh, he, he was very kind. He's been here on campus a couple times and spoke to students and, and, uh, and community folks. It's been very exciting. Well, an individual I seem like may be interested in wanting to come to this art to, uh, show and see what's available, but maybe also to purchase some items. So would these be items for purchase? Many of the ex of the of the, uh, the sculptures and drawings and uh, uh, prints are available for purchase, and so uh, I, I'm always encouraging local collectors to come in and look. And uh, many times, many times they'll find uh, some very affordable works to add to their collection. So I hope uh, the, there still are. There's a few pieces been been uh, purchased, uh, but there's many left. Okay. Uh, f uh, so uh, folks can come in and, you know, uh, shop. And bring the checkbooks. Absolutely. <laughs> Is there a price to get in to the King Gallery? No, no, no. It's free and open to the public. Everything, uh, well, the majority of uh, cultural events at Del Mar College are, are f free and open to the public. Maybe a nominal uh, a fee for some uh, uh, theater events, but uh, uh, absolutely free uh, for the exhibition. Are any of the works on display prior to coming to the King Gallery, so I can maybe get a preview of what is to be expected? Well, you can go online uh, to, uh, I guess, uh, a couple places. Uh, well, the Del Mar, uh, the art program uh, web page, and maybe through the gallery, a gallery link, and you could find, you, and you could see some of the pieces. Yes. Okay. So while this is open to the community, obviously our students at Del Mar College are going to have a huge benefit from this being housed at Del Mar College East Campus. So, can you tell us what students would get out of this? Well, the the students students in g the general uh, general students, you know, this is we believe as a cult cultural treasure for them because they can come and see see what folks um, maybe across the country are thinking in terms of of, of traditional uh, artworks and then and then more um, uh, individual expression. So. Totally, uh, totally, just a great uh, uh, cultural treasure and an asset for the community. Our art students, of course, really um, uh, have uh, have a keen interest in seeing the seeing the uh, the works because they see well, they see professional work, they see professional presentation. So that means a lot to uh, the young art student in terms of okay, what what's uh, what's expected um, and uh, how to get there in some ways. Okay. Well, can you tell us where someone could get more information about the art program at Del Mar College? Well, uh, we'd really like for them to come, come on by the art department at Del Mar College, East Campus. Uh, just come, come by and visit uh, is, is the best way. Uh, they, can, uh, they can go online. We have a web page. They could go online and get some information as well, and that's more convenient sometimes. They could call 698-1216. Uh, 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 Okay. As well. All right. Well, thanks for chatting with us today about this upcoming great event. Thank you. We're taking a quick break, but students in the radio and television program are next with a Del Mar Now update. After that, we'll meet an instructor of technical drafting who'll tell us about steampunk event coming up. So don't go away.
Mark your calendar. Apply for Del Mar College Foundation scholarships January 15th through April 30th for the 2016-2017 academic year. Do you have a minimum 2.0 grade point average or a GED equivalency? Then you qualify to apply. Essays are not required. Scholarships are available for both part-time and full-time students and many do not require financial aid eligibility. Apply for scholarships online at www.delmar.edu slash scholarships. Get Del Mar College information right in the palm of your hand using Viking Go. Viking Go is Del Mar College's mobile app full of useful college information you can access on your cell phone or tablet. Choose from 13 active modules from the menu. You can even access Del Mar College social media feeds. Viking Go is available on Google Play and the Apple App Store for your phones and tablets. Stay on the go with Viking Go. Start using Viking Go today. Dream of earning a great salary? With excellent benefits, Del Mar College can get you where you want to go. Drivers are in huge demand. And with our transportation training services, you can earn a commercial driver's license in as little as three weeks. So drive your own success and get the license that puts you behind the wheel. Learn more at delmar.edu slash trucking. Welcome to this edition of Del Mar Now Update. I'm Sarah Metter. And I'm Travis Pettis. The Del Mar College newspaper has been recognized with the National Award. The Foghorn placed third as the best newspaper for two-year schools. The recognition was given at the annual College Media Association. The award is the second time the college newspaper has placed third. The Los Angeles Collegian at Los Angeles City College placed first, and the Centennial at North Idaho College took second. Two other Texas schools who were ranked in the top three in other categories were Rice University and Texas A&M College Station. Four Del Mar College students were instrumental in the Foghorns Award. They were Editor-in-Chief Samantha Dowdy, Managing Editor Casey Berryman, Associate and Web Editor Megan Falcon, and Entertainment Editor Jonathan Garcia. The College Media Association has a membership of 700 institutions. A six-figure grant has been given Del Mar College to fund the DMC Safety Institute. Texas Mutual Insurance Company awarded $100,000 through the college's foundation. The grant is to provide workplace safety courses for community employers, workers, and the general public. Del Mar College President Dr. Mark Escamilla says the grant allows Del Mar to provide a no-cost safety courses to the local workforce. This is the third year that Texas Mutual has given $100,000 to the college to support safety training. Del Mar is one of the five Texas community colleges that provide safety courses via Texas Mutual. A campaign and website have been launched for Del Mar College alumni to share their story. The Share Your Story campaign has been unveiled by the College Foundation Alumni Association. The campaign began with a lunch on February 29th and over 50 alumni, faculty, staff attended with testimonials being recorded and additional stories collected at a computer station. The alumni coordinator, Natalie Villarreal, said there have been so many heartfelt stories from the alumni that needed to be collected. The Share Your Story website already has stories from such alumni as best-selling author, a pastry chef, and a county sheriff. The foundation's goal is to collect over 2,000 stories that tell the Del Mar College Viking journeys. The website to share the Viking stories is www.delmarstories.com. A presentation delving into the history of Corpus Christi has recently presented at Del Mar College. The historical 1970 court case, Cicinetto versus CCISD, was reviewed by two Texas A&M Corpus Christi professors. The case had a lasting impact on Corpus Christi. Cisneros versus CCISD, a community divided, was a presentation by Dr. Isabel Ariaza and Amanda Marquez. The two college professors conducted interviews exploring how the court case affected local students and their families. The case was the first court case to extend the 1954 decision of desegregation, Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas, the 1970 court case was resulted in Mexican Americans to be included in desegregation cases rather than black Americans only. The presentation was part of the Texas Public School Works Week, which is observed from February 29th through March 4th. 
Not all students at community colleges are first-time students. Nationally, it's estimated that one out of every 14 students enrolled at a community college has a bachelor's degree. The publication U.S. News and World Report attributes the phenomenon in part to a failure by some four-year universities not preparing students for local job needs. Del Mar College is not any different. It is also has students enrolled who have a bachelor's degree. 28-year-old Matthew Cavazos is currently enrolled in the Environmental Petrochemical Lab Technology Program. Cavazos graduated in 2010 with a bachelor's degree in theater arts but discovered there wasn't much income and potential. The Del Mar student is now anticipating a position that will start him out at $50,000 upon completion of his studies. 37-year-old Leticia Cervantes has similar story but a different profession. Cervantes has a bachelor's in criminal justice and was licensed private investigator. She wanted a more reliable income and regular working hours. She enrolled in cosmetology. Cervantes said that when the economy turns sour, people aren't going to look for a private investigator, but women will also want their hair and makeup done. Scholarship applications are available for students to apply for financial assistance at Del Mar College. Students may apply for financial help through April 30th for the 2016 through 2017 academic year. The scholarships are through the Del Mar College Foundation. Students with a minimum 2.0 GPA or GED equivalency are eligible to apply. Essays are not required in application. The scholarship programs offer scholarships to part-time students as well as full-time students. There is no need to prove financial need to receive a scholarship. For more information, contact the Del Mar College Foundation office at 698-1317. That's this edition of Del Mar Now Update. I'm Sarah Metter. And I'm Travis Pettis. Stay tuned to more Del Mar Now. Catch the Viking spirit. Nationally recognized and locally focused, Del Mar College has been delivering dreams for over 75 years. If Del Mar College has touched your life, join the Vikings Alumni Association and help others achieve their dreams. Stay connected. Support scholarships. Explore the Viking Career Network. Join online today at delmar.edu slash alumni for as little as $10 and get a free t-shirt. Show your Viking pride. I used to dream. I was growing my skilled workforce. Today, I am. Go from I dream to I am. Let Del Mar College train your staff with courses customized for your business or industry. Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Gaining weight was easy. All I had to do was sit down and eat. Losing weight's a lot harder. I have to work at it every day. But with every step, I lower my risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease. And that makes every step, every choice, every day. Very much worth the effort. Learn how you can help stop diabetes by losing weight, eating healthy, and staying active. Visit CheckUpAmerica.org or call 1-800-DIABETES. For more information about Del Mar Now, log on to www.delmar.edu slash now. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions to help us improve Del Mar Now, send an email to now at delmar.edu. Our next guest is an instructor of technical drafting at Del Mar College. He holds a bachelor's degree from Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, and a master's degree from Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Please welcome to Del Mar Now, Bob Claypack. Hi, well, thanks for being with us, and I love the hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so we've got an event coming up at Del Mar uh, College, the Steampunk event. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about, firstly, mm. what is Steampunk? Well, Steampunk is a little bit of the Victorian era uh, coupled with the industrial. Uh, where everything and anything that's machine, mechanical, things like that. Um, if you can imagine it, you can wear it, then it goes. Basically, and the top <laughs> hat, uh, the stove top hat, and the goggles are the trademarks of most of what everybody wears, and the long trench coats and corsets and things like that. Okay, so this is a, a, a movement with costumes and characters and design. Uh 
well, with yeah. related to a certain time period or not? Well, it, it's where the future and the past collide together. Um, and what we've done is uh, we kind of looked at the past of all the architects and, and all the design, the clothing from the Victorian times. Mm -hmm. um, and then we looked at, we went to several cosplay type places and we came up with the perfect set for our students to draw off of for the, uh, the steampunk. Okay. style. Uh, <laughs> well, it is a unique style, I have to say. So, mm -hmm. is this an event that's just related to Del Mar College or is this a collaborative event? Can you give us some well, details this about is, what's happening? What we've done is we've just held our charrette, which we've coupled with, uh, before in the past, we've coupled with the welding department. Uh, we've coupled with several other departments. This time we decided to couple with the drama department. And the drama department was very excited. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> I can see they, why. They jumped right on it. And so the drama department, their students uh, actually will guide the, the outcome of the design work. Uh, so what we've done is they will do a costume type look um, and then our students will look at that and they are to do a background prop, uh, a four by eight panel, a piece of furniture. Um, they are supposed to do a prop and two costumes from that era. And at the charrette that we had, we had well over a hundred students that wow. showed up for it. Wow. And we've had, we had the props, we had examples for them to look at and uh, see what they can do. A lot of the lighting, the Edison bulbs, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that is Very synonymous. popular actually, yes. Right, and uh, what we did is we showed them the Alchemist, which is uh, where they do the test tubes, the you know, all the different uh, microscopes, things like that, what they would look like in steampunk. Uh, and basically, you add gears to everything. <laughs> so it, it'll be pretty good. Okay, so the steampunk, how does it relate to architecture and drama? Is there a link between them, or are you making them a link with this event? There is a great link between it, because if you look a lot of, at a lot of the architecture and the buildings uh, in the industrial era, everybody was on top of each other. Everybody wanted to be right in the city. And the women, they wanted to be, take part in it, and the men were, of course, in the top hats, the canes. And so the, this coupled really well with, because it's, it takes more than just one item to be steampunk. Okay. It is a collection of items. Okay, good to know. And so when we decided to talk to the drama department, they were like, yes, we know what you want. We know what you're, what you're thinking. And so it just, we fed off of each other. And we just, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Okay. Um, so students in the art and the architecture and the drama program, are, do they all get to participate? Or, or you know, are, are certain students, and, and how, what kind of experiences are they going to get from this? Well, they, all of our, our entire program participates. And we opened it up to the drama department. And actually, it's opened up to anybody that wants to participate at Del Mar. Oh, good to know. The students. Um, and... They can come in and they can join a team. We have five teams and each team right now has about 10 members. So they're able to delegate. And what we wanted to do was to help them work as a team and see what it's like to be collaborative together. And it's kind of a cross platform with ours and the drama department. And when they're done with it, they will actually have their items and they will actually be presenting their final work to a panel of judges. So we can look at it and, and critique it a little bit. Mm -hmm. and they can be proud of what they're doing. And uh, I will tell you that n they get it spot on. <laughs> They do a good job. Well, I, I love the steam, steam, steampunk theme. It, it's really creative. Is this something that's happening every year, or is well, it new, a new kind of event? Because well, it's kind of a new topic. Right. We do, a, in our program, the Architecture Drafting Technology, we do a charrette during the fall, which focuses on buildings. Okay? Um, and the, we picked, one time we did haunted houses, we did different things uh, to look at uh, architecture. Then in the spring is when we do the technical. And because my background is technical, 
I go ahead and I choose the topic. And so last, last I guess last year was steampunk, but it was small items that oh. you could set on a table. And this time we want to make it bigger and grander and invite more students in it. And so we do it every semester. Every spring semester is the technical charrette. So yeah, it, it'll be every year and it'll get bigger and bigger. We've already got a theme for next year. And it will just, it'll be awesome too. Well, don't tell us. No, 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 The no, suspense no, no. will kill yes. us. <laughs> um, so you mentioned big items. Is that what someone's going to expect to see at this steampunk event? Yes, it is. Furniture? It, is, it has to be, they have to do a wall panel. And it has to be decorated to that era. Um, Victorian, anything industrial. Um, you're going to see a lot of pipes. A lot of creativity made out of uh, galvanized pipes, um, a lot of creativity made out of chains, gears, things like that, leather, metal. Um, but they have to do the panel and they have to do a piece of furniture. Either you can sit on it, but it has to be usable. Okay. Um, and one of our students, uh, we had a table and a shelf and it had a hidden compartment in it at one point. Wow. Um, and the props have to go with it. It cannot be something that's offset. So basically each team chooses a theme, a steampunk theme. Oh, well, so. this is definitely the popular. If you look at restoration hardware catalogs, I mean, you see the yes. industrial look everywhere. So this is right yes. on trend with Delmar yes, College. Yes, definitely. That's exciting. Well, where can someone get more information or come view some of these steampunk um, expedition items? Well, we're going to have uh, in the drama department on, uh, I believe it is April 29th, we're going to have an exposition there uh, where they can go and look at all of the the items that were made. And then also May 6th, we are going to be at the Art Walk at the Ritz Theater, and they will be displaying all of their work there as well. It'll be a big production at the Ritz Theater okay, on May well, 6th. Mark your calendars then. Yes. Well, thanks for chatting with us today sure. about this event. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching. If you have questions or comments about Delmar Now, you can send an email to now at delmar.edu. We'll return in May with an all-new show. Until then, I'm Amy Mintz for Delmar Now. Thanks for watching.